Welcome back, everybody. It is 11.44 a.m. Eastern Time, October 9th, 2017. All right, we have a lot going on right now. We have a lot of uh, wildfires going on in wine country in California. This is one of many articles that are being put up uh, back to back to back about these fires. Already um, many houses destroyed. People have been injured in these fires. And there's more than one, guys. This is um, the biggest one right now, I believe, is Atlas Peak. Um, in wine country, if I'm not mistaken, uh, that one was reported to have started overnight around 9.50 uh, California time. Um, there's also fires in Santa Rosa, Windsor, and Sebastopol, California. Now, I pulled up Google Earth really quick just to give you an idea of where some of these fires are. Um, Atlas Peak is right around this area where, ooh, sorry, right around this area where my mouse is, is Atlas Peak. Um, and if you look more towards this area... Uh, Santa Rosa is in this area, so we have fires spread out all over this area here, um, including Atlas Peak, which I think is the biggest of these fires so far. But the issue here, guys, are the winds. The winds in California are very dry, and they're very strong this time of year. We're dealing with Santa Ana winds, they're called. A lot of those winds move from the east to the west out into the Pacific, but they tend to come down from high altitudes. Um, and that's what's uh, really aiding in these fires. They're spreading quickly. Uh, there's lots of videos online of people filming the fires. Again, houses destroyed already. Uh, evacuations going on. So really not a good situation. And I want to bring your attention to something really quick. If you guys remember, a few days ago we reported on a possible meteorite strike that caused a fire in New Hampshire. Now this article is from yesterday. We reported this, I believe, on the 4th. So the fact that they're still making articles about this uh, leads me to believe that this may have actually been a meteorite. And we had a witness, um, it says right here, a driver in the area reported a meteorite flash before the fire started. So that is certainly a possibility, especially for areas of New Hampshire where you don't really get wildfires out of nowhere. You know, it could have been a campfire, um, something like that. But the fact that someone saw a meteor in the area and then became a meteorite once it hit land, hit earth, that's when they become meteorites. They're meteors until they touch ground. They usually don't, but when they do, they become meteorites. But uh, just interesting how this happened five days ago, and now California, this was overnight these fires started. There was no fires yesterday that I know of. And they basically said all these fires popped up overnight in Napa County. So if you want to check these articles out, go right ahead. I actually pulled up a chart for you, a fireball chart. Now this site here is called amsmeteors.org, all one word. And you can come here and you can either report or look at reports of current fireballs that have gone on in specific areas. I have this set to California. And if you look here, guys, on the 7th, uh, PDT time, there was many, many reports. A lot of them, we have San Francisco, Roseville, Nevada, Berkeley, San Jose, San Ramon, Berkeley again, San Jose again. Some of these may have been multiple people seeing these, but also pay attention to the experience level here. We have people that have a lot of experience on this site. I guess you get graded based on um, how accurate your info is. We have a five here, a couple threes, a two, and then a few ones. But again, guys, these are a lot of reports for one day. So I'm wondering if this has anything to do with these fires, especially the fact that they're, they're speckled around. Uh, Atlas Peak and then uh, Santa Rosa um, is another area. So these areas are not so much far, far apart, but these are multiple fires. So it's very interesting to think about this situation. We may be dealing with meteors. I know there is a meteor shower, a named one, that was, I believe, over this weekend, may have been Friday or Saturday, i got to look into it. But again, guys, you have the info right here. These are all from the 7th, apparently, late on the 7th, going into the 8th. Again, they said the fire started last night, which is the 8th. So again, these may not have anything to do with it, but it's just interesting information, being that we just had a meteorite strike. Uh, more than likely in New Hampshire causing a fire. And these are news stations reporting on this. This isn't some freelance uh, article going on. This is uh, looks like CBS Philadelphia uh, reporting on this. So something to look into, guys. These fires are uh, really bad. They're spreading quickly. Again, there's evacuations. There's already been homes destroyed. Um, if you put on the Weather Channel, they are doing a lot of extensive coverage on these wildfires, as well as our first Winter Storm Aiden, and also Tropical Storm Ophelia is official. It's a named storm. 
That is our 10th named storm in a row, 17th storm of the season, guys. We are almost running out of names here. All right, I'm going to report back with more info on Ophelia, and if I hear anything else about these California fires possibly being caused by meteors or meteorites, I will let you all know. Um, again, the website for the Meteor Fireball site is amsmeteors, all one word, dot org. All right, guys, thank you very much. I'll see you soon.